in this video I'm gonna be taking a quick look at how we represent the, um, a free, the three dimensional shape of molecules and this is really important because sometimes you want to be able to represent the three dimensional shape of a molecule but obviously if you're writing this down on a on a screen or writing this down on a paper if you all you have is the bonds which are like let's take um methane for example if we had a methane molecule which is um ch4 and all we did was represent the bond using regular lines all it would look like is like c and h and h and h and h now this doesn't tell me that much about the shape of the molecule it's very hard to actually decipher what this molecule is going to look like so what we do is we use a, a type of notation which shows us the three-dimensional shape of a molecule and I'm going to be taking you through this in the quick very quickly in this video so the one I'm going to the molecule I'm going to be using is this um, the CH, CH4 the methane so let me just drag this out of the way up here now methane has a shape which is 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 is, is um, characterized by the fact that if you were to join up the hydrogen atoms once you have the 3d shape I think it make more sense once I draw it up there but if you were to draw join up the hydrogen atoms it would form a, uh, a, a the, the shape of a triangular based pyramid and so we call it tetrahedral like if you have a triangular based pyramid so this shape um, like let me scroll up a little bit this let's see if I can draw this up uh, yeah we'd have that would be that would be seeable that would be that would be visible sorry for my wonky line but if we had this shape this is a tetrahedron and um, once I draw it up you'll you'll see the the shape of the molecule anyway so let me draw this up and explain what the lines mean so first thing we draw is the central atom so the carbon atom and the next thing we draw is the lines which represent the bonds and carbon has four bonds to the hydrogen so you know one two three four and the first bond goes up like this with a single line and the reason why we use a single line is because single lines basically represent that that line represents a bond which is in the plane of the screen or the plane of the paper so this plane um basically at a right angle to 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 looking at it like flat that plane represents the plane of that line so it's not going towards you into the paper and it's not coming um out of the paper uh oh it's not it's not going away from you into the paper and it's not coming out of the paper towards you and we have we would have we could have just two of those in this bond in this um molecule and the other ones are represent as lines coming towards you and away from you so the next kind of bond uh we have is the wedge and the wedge is like a squashed isosceles triangle sort of like this and we can fill this in like that and what this represents is a bond that is coming out of the paper towards you so the molecule the, the, when I draw the atom on there it means that the atom is bonded to the carbon and it's, it's, it's pointed towards you and the f and the third kind of bond uh, uh, line would be the the bro broken or dashed line and we represent this with a sort of like this kind of triangle except it's broken so as you can see we have dashes to represent the, the structure of that line and this represents a uh, a bond which is pointing away from you so into into the paper uh, yeah so let me now draw on the uh, actually well, hydrogen atoms hydrogen 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 and as I said it may make a bit more sense if I draw this structure now that like this shape on there now so this is this is what the lines would mean and the tetrahedral structure it let me draw this in like I don't know purple be, would be the shape made by joining the the atoms which are around the carbon so if I join these now so like that like that like that and then up to the hydrogen at the top as you can see if you compare the shape of this triangle that I've made to the shape of this triangle here it's pretty much the same shape 
and this is why we say that it's a tetrahedral structure it has the if we join up the hydrogens it has the shape of a triangular based pyramid so yeah this is this is how you join the lines and i hope you found this video helpful uh so i'll see you in the next video